Now when you practice Shaolin traditional martial arts, um, because uh, Shaolin martial arts is quite open, so everywhere um, people come different country from China or someone learning from China, they bring the China, uh, Shaolin martial arts to different countries. So they try to teach the traditional martial arts. Uh, but at the moment, um, even in the Shaolin martial arts, you have two kinds. One, people just use the forms to do the performers. Um, they learn a lot of different forms. Basically they just bring the forms, go back to teach people. But the Shaolin martial arts is for fighting. Yeah. Martial arts, not Shaolin martial arts, any martial arts, all for fighting is their soul is for fighting. So um, when you practice Shaolin forms, usually a lot of techniques, good techniques, the head in the, in the form. So and a lot of people they don't know. So this is a question, we want to keep the traditional martial arts, but you have to know which one you should keep, which one is special, which technique is special. So I just, uh, anyway, I just want people, when you practice Shaolin martial arts, you need to understand the forms. Not just say you can do a lot of forms, you need to understand the forms, and you need to know which part is important, which movement is very useful, and you have to take the movement, yeah, Practice separate, yeah. Part by the just this movement, you try to let different style people to attack you. For example, you can spar with people to the tap boxing, kickboxing, or karate. So you use same technique to fight different styles. You try to study. Only this way, you can make tra traditional martial arts have the life. Yeah, this is my point. My message is sent to people is doesn't matter how good you are, you need to think you are the beginners. Because only way if you're beginners you can open your mind, you can let things come in, you can learn in. If you think, oh, I'm the best, then you will stop learning. When I first come to the country, uh, I do think I'm really good. The more I travel in, more I know the martial arts, more I open my mind, more I feel a lot of things I need to learn. So, for me, personal, I want to send a message to people is um, try to open your mind, yeah, to take different martial arts good for you, yeah. Don't say okay, Shaolin is the best, or you know, heart is the best, or Thai boxing is best, nothing best, okay. So open your mind to catch anything suit for you to make your own style. Before in old Shaolin temple, the famous fighting monks. They're always traveling to whole China to find good, famous master. They bring that special skill, come to temple, then develop. Then, when people make it more special, they go out again to teach different peoples. So I feel, for me, uh, the same. When I first come to the country, I go to the Thailand to study Thai boxing. Then after UFC very popular, I, w I went to Brazil to study the Jiu Jitsu. So, I'm not trying to make my Thai boxing skill really good. I'm not trying to make my Jiu Jitsu skill really good. I just wanted to learn to see what, which way they're training, why they're training this way. I just want to understand their style, how to, why they do this way, why they do that way. It's give me open mind, yeah, make me my mind more fresh. So I will not to say something easy to say no. 
because I don't know the history. Why we need to start in Shaolin? Um, number one, <coughs> Shaolin got the Chan Buddhist culture behind. They got the history, they got the philosophy. Yeah? I can't say uh, Mu Tai, they don't have the philosophy, or Jiji Sui, they don't have the philosophy. But for Shaolin, the unique, unique is because the behind have the Chan Buddhist uh, philosophy. So for me, uh, the Shaolin culture, for me, big benefit is uh, you need to become a good person, then you can learn good martial arts. Yeah? Humble, open, um, gift, you know. So, because Shaolin is uh, the old monk, they, they, they train really hard. They try to make some skill unique after they teach people. It's, teach people is gift. Yeah? It saves other people's time. For me, I'm very interested in fighting because I got a strong shouting background. So for me, when I see the Thai boxing or kickboxing or jiu-jitsu, when I see the techniques, because I got a strong background, for me, it's easy to open the door, to catch them, bring to me. Yeah? For me, um, I always uh, try to, uh, how do I say it? Because I'm stop fighting, I want to become the best teacher. Best teacher is you need to quickly understand your students, what they think. Yeah? You have to use their thinking to make them better. You can't. I cannot give my thinking to you. I have to use your thinking, what you believe, slowly, slowly to change you. Because you have different style in Shaolin Temple, you have, you know, before they say you have tiger style, monkey style, yeah, that when you when you fighting, it's mixed style. So this kind of background give me mind. So when I see the people, I always try to use my heart to make it better. This is the key. When you teaching people, you give the heart to teach them. So. Uh, for me, um, people want to learn Shaolin. The reason uh, they want to learn Shaolin is because otherwise Shaolin, they start very, they not start from fighting straight away. They start foundation, they build up with foundation, stamina, flexibility, um, this kind of things. Yeah. Then after they slowly move to fighting. No same when you do the Muay Thai, they straight away put the gloves on, start to teach you push kick, fighting kicks, they more directly. I can't say which way is good. I just say this is Shaolin way. But this way give you choice. They build up your confidence, they move to slowly, slowly move to real the war, the fighting. When I was young, when I'm studying martial arts, um, you know, you have to, you have to listen the teacher, what they say, you must, they say, okay, run, 5K, you have no choice, you have to run 5K, you can't stop. And uh, when you're fighting, you have to fight as hard as you can, you have no choice. If, if you don't, if you not give everything, you got trouble. They will beat you, you know, they will give you big trouble. But here, when you come to West, no, it's different. No um, special. I can't say which country. People teach martial arts. Uh, um, it's not very strict. They, they give you choice, and uh, they say if you want, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Before one um, do martial arts, you like or don't like. You have to do it. You have you have no choice. And also, when you learn martial in China, and here is different. In China, when you do the martial arts, because martial arts is the body language, you have to do the movement over and over again, no question. 
and here in West. They don't do it. They ask a question, why you do this, why you do that. Yeah? They want to understand, then they do it. It's big difference. It's body language. If you don't do it, you never understand. Even you understand, just you are not really understand because you don't do it. Yeah? So um, and also now um, Shaolin martial arts is quite big in lot lots of different countries. So um, but most country, most people uh, the teaching the people is forms. Uh, I really want to uh, people when you teach in the Shaolin martial arts, I really want you to know if you ever keep teaching the forms, you no know, fighting techniques, I think we will lose them. We lose this martial arts very soon. I met one woman, she wants to lose weight. And she said, I go to the world gym, I go to the gym to train a lot of personal trainers. I tried a lot of different personal trainers, they never work. I still don't lose weight. Okay. I, I want to say, if you over weight, it's your problems. You cannot. People, they only can give you direction how to help to lose weight, to make your body healthy. But at the end of the day, you need to put the action in. And the problem is people say, I try this, for example, diet. People say, I try this diet, I try that diet, it's not working. Yeah? So, it, <laughs> I think it's really hard because we know we got money, we got sense, it's easy, we can choice, you know, what you eat, you want to eat, you want to eat this, you want to eat that, you go to the supermarket, you go to everything. Then we even, we want to eat something, we ask people what I should eat. Then before, one child, I'm stay very, um, I'm staying North China, it's very cold. Winter time, we only have the, some carrot or some potato, this kind of stuff. Whole winter, yeah, only have these things. But everyone healthy, because you eat food, it's unseasoned. Yeah, now, we winter time, we eat a cucumber. But the cucumber not grow up the winter because the cucumber is cold. The winter you eat the cucumber, the cold, cold. It's not good for you. So diet is me. We <coughs> I want to say to people, if you're not healthy or if you don't know your diet, you have to find your own diet. You need to try to eat different things to, to feel suit for you or not. You can't. For me, the best diet is just follow the season. You leave the country, this season grow the cucumber, you eat cucumber this season. Yeah? You follow the season, nothing go wrong. Yeah? Don't try to eat too much sweet things because with everything at the, the moment the big problem is sugar. Everything have sugar inside. Yeah? So they make you have sugar teeth. They make your teeth have problem. All my life I never see dentist once. I'm 44. Yeah? Because I don't eat sugar. I eat sugar from natural, from vegetables. I don't go to take the... Uh, people say honey is really good for you. Yeah? Yes, it's good for you. But I, I'm not always to take honey because my body don't need. I mean, your body is your doctor. You have to ask yourself what your body need and you take it. But sometimes it's not real. People say, oh, my body needs chocolate. It's not real. Your body don't need chocolate. It's a desire, your body desire for chocolate, but it's not suitable for you. Yeah? Um, I just want to say, when you want to make yourself health, so you have to think this is your business. Don't blame anyone. Because I'm, uh, I have this problem. Don't forgive, forgive other people is a good thing to do. Forgive yourself easily is not a good thing to do. If you make a mistake, you have to say, I make a mistake, yeah? Other people make a mistake to you, you need to easy to forgive. If you make a mistake, don't easy to forgive yourself. Same, you overeating, make yourself bigger. So you have to train hard to make yourself lose. It's the only way. Remember? 
bar, always landing back like push the floor, body to the front, we go every time cross, make your hips open, cross open, cross open, cross open kick, okay? Ready? Chan Buddhism make you become a good person, make you peaceful, much rather make you strong. So if you want to ask someone what you want to be, I want to be strong and peaceful. So most people will say this. So question is when the trouble happens, someone comes to the street, they see you say, why are you watching me? They boom, punch you. They make you angry. You say, why are you punching me? You're angry. Yeah? So surely must try to make you peace. When people attack you, most important things you need to stay peace. Then you can decide to fight back or not. It's, for me, it's good sense. When people attack me, I can take. So it's fine, I just go. I don't want to bother with them. I don't want to fight back. If only I have to, I have to. And Chan Buddhism, because the good, good, good strong philosophy is long, long sentence to say. The link with martial arts is unique because yin and yang together is unique. Only in China, only one temple have martial arts and the Chan Buddhism in Shaolin Temple. This reason they are unique. One jump, one kick, relax. Lock in play, huh? X! And relax. And hand up, X! Now, remember, in X, go inside. And turn your head, X! Just this, okay? X! Go! A uh, lot of people very interested in meditation. Um, meditation is try to, people say, okay, Sit here, breathing in, breathing out. Uh, try to empty your mind. You can't empty your mind. If you empty your mind, you die. Uh, you, you, when you're sleeping, you're still dreaming. You tell me how, how do you empty your mind? It's not empty mind. You try to, you try to focus something. For example, I breathing in, I breathing out. I'm sitting here. I just concentrate my breathing in, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, until I forgot my breathing in. Then I know I will stay peace because I forgot myself sitting there. Yeah, they make you peace. They make you challenge your desire to let your mind don't go to. You know, sometimes <clears throat> we got trouble. Sometimes we got some problems. We think it's big problems. Then we. Every day your mind starts circles. These things are wrong all in your head. You always think you always focus your problems. Yeah? You're thinking, you're thinking, it can drive you crazy. Yeah? Because worry cannot change your thing. You have, when you have problems, you have to think how to make the problem finish. For today, maybe this, this problem is bigger. After today, it's not bigger anymore. Time will fix everything. So sometimes we got trouble, we are not letting that go. We keep going, the man, a uh, circle that make you, you know, it's not good. Meditation will teach you, let that go. Focus, be positive. Focus something important for your life. Not focus something not important for your life. Yeah? For example, people come to UK. For example, you want to learn with me, you don't need to be like me. You don't need to focus you like me or not. You need to focus on what skill I have because you want to learn a skill from me. For example, if you want, if you want to learn the Chan Buddhism from me, you need to focus Yeah, I'm good at philosophy or not. Yeah, you need to focus what you want. Don't focus someone. You say, okay, he has good skill, but I don't like him. So you need to ask what you want. No one perfect. I got my own problems, I got some weakness, but you learn is my strong part. You not learn my weakness. Yeah? But people, I don't know what to say. Anyway, meditation is a lot different way to do meditation. Meditation is mean you focus one thing. And you training. For example, you do back work, you can say, I do back work meditation. I do part work, I do part work meditation. I'm sitting down, I'm doing sitting meditation. So you need to part of the step, step, step. No one put your hand. Step, step, step. 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 Step, step, step.
Um, because I teach a lot of different peoples, and people say, uh, Shifu, I want to learn fighting. I say, okay, let's, let's, I teach you fighting. Um, but the fighting, when you do the fighting, you have to go to the ring, go to the fight. You have to have open it to fight. So then after the second question that will ask me, when I train, you say, Shifu, do you think I'm ready to fight? So I think I, I will tell them, yes, you're ready to fight. Yeah, just the result, I don't know. Maybe you win, maybe you lose. Yeah? People say, people always worry some things. When, when you're doing things, um, you can't, you can't. You have to do things first, then you get the result. You from thinking, it means just thinking, you don't want to do, it means no result. Yeah? If, if you want to show the martial arts, you do. Uh, you the body to try, then you think you like or not, you want to continue or not. Not you think about. Someone say, for example, right moment I do Samarkand. I take people to China from West, people from different countries, America, Germany, France, Italy, different countries to go. People with people before, when I didn't start, people say, oh Shifu, can you take me to China? When the opportunity come, you give it to them, then we will say no. Then we will say, oh, Shifu, I want to go next year because, bala, bala, bala. Okay. So sometimes people, this means it's not you really want. You just think about it. You, it's not you really want. If you really want, even if you really want, you don't need to think about it. You will do it. Yeah. Sometimes we don't know what, what we want. We think we want. But when things come to you, you're scared. You don't take it. Yeah. This is the problem. Action makes your life. Your tongue cannot make your life. <laughs> 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 In the China, um, we said martial arts have two parts, internal and external, okay? But the two parts all called martial arts. So this means martial arts, you in the practice, you inside, inside mean your organs, your kidney, your liver, your lung, this kind of things. Outside mean your arms, your, 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 your muscles, your punch, your kick, yeah? So question is, you only your organs are stronger, then you can make your physical move longer. Shaolin martial arts is amazing for me because we practice Qigong internal and external together. And we don't think this two part, we think the whole part is one part. But people know it's strange. People do the Qigong, they say, I like Qigong, but I don't like the punch. That much right the whole sense. You just need to balance yin yang, yin and yang. When you're young, can I teach someone 10 years old or 5 years old boy Qigong that sit here, practice, very soft, relaxed movement? He can't do it because he wants to jump around. It's not fair for him. He wants to climb in, he wants to like a monkey, he wants to jump, he wants to fly in yeah, because he kids. So you have to teach them. I'm saying when you're young, you need to do the physical exercise 70%. Then you need to do 30% internal training. Yeah. Same you got a car. You got a new car? You can drive one year or two years. Yeah. Then you, you can look after for half half month you don't drive. You, you let people check the inside the things working or not. Same you, when you're young, you're strong. You can train in hard. Yeah, this reason you do 70% external, mean you can do punch kicks, you know. 30% the Qigong do some internal breathing exercise that keep yin yang and balance. Uh, when you're old, when you're full, see my age, I do 50 50 because I'm 40s. So I practice every day, I practice better Qigong. I do some, I practice one hour Qigong exercise. I do two, uh, you know, other stuff. So it's make me. Uh, make me feel good. The reason is because Qigong make me quickly recover. For example, if someone kick me, 
I feel really painful if I can't pack. Yeah. One, one, one day sleep, I do some Qigong exercise, I will quickly recover because, because my circulation moves fast. When your circulation moves fast, then you recover fast. Similarly, young kids, they can train you really hard, one sleep, tomorrow, bang, because the circulation moves fast. Older people, because we, everything slow down, so your recover is slow. You see that you need to practice the you need to have good routine, yeah? So you can't train it really hard, but you can train it often because you call it more patience than young people, yeah? So you need to balance yin and yang. Anyway, message is, when you want to learn Shaolin, you have to do two, you have to do two things, internal and external. And from this way, you have balance. You have to make sure, okay, how many percent I want to do, yeah? Everyone different because everyone body different. So you need to find your own way. So every time you catch, you move your feet like this. Yeah? Hey, go, kick. Okay, you move your feet. Hey, go, kick. For me, most time I train by myself. Uh, I hardly have partner, oh, I most time do by myself. My motivation is because at the moment I want to become the best teacher. Then I have to keep my body sharp, quicker. Yeah? And for another way, I want to challenge my body. Now I'm 44, I want to see 10 years later, can I do the, still the same? Yeah? Um, also, you can find a lot of ways to challenge you when you do the training by yourself. I got very flat feet, like my feet really flat. I just mean I can't run long distance. I can't enjoy the army. Yeah? But I don't believe this. I say, I see because I see a lot of athletes that have one leg, only one leg, they can run. I have two legs. My flat feet, what's wrong? So, then I go run long distance all the time. I hate running, but for me it's a challenge. Sometimes I run, I say, I run for someone who don't have leg. I just run one care for them. I run another care for someone old, they can't run, they want to run. Can you imagine someone see the push chair, someone push them to the park? Do you feel sad? I feel sad. If they can run, they will be so happy. But we, we can't run, we are unhappy. We don't want to run, yeah? For me, I live in Angel Station. From Angel, come here about three miles. Most time I come here, I'm running. I'm running to here. So for me, it's good. I save my time. When I run here, I'm warm up, be ready. I go to the bag or do some qigong, do anything I want. I save the time. Yeah. Also, uh, I I go to the right very. At the moment, I join the one gym. It's crazy. Everyone thinks me crazy because the gym, most people are old people, the 60s. I'm quite young, you know, every time I was, for me it's good because they give me motivation, because they love the life, they want the life longer. You see them that goes inside the training. I look at them, I feel happy. I think if my parents, if my parents are alive, I will take them to go to the gym to training, yeah. So they make you feel, you know, the world is beautiful, people should respect their life. You should make yourself healthy. When you're healthy, um, simple things, okay. If you love your parents, your parents' good gift to you is their health. They don't have no sickness. They're good because they save you time. You don't need to go to look after them. If they have problems, you need to worry. You worry them. So I always tell my, my students, learn some, learn some Qigong exercise, go to your home, Teach your parents. Yeah. One day you go to running, take your parents and Baba Mama with me. Papa Mama with me. Yeah. You can walk in, I can run. Oh you can ride bicycle. You're chasing me. We together. It's funny, it's family. But the problem now we all independent. Sometimes it's crazy in the West. When they're old, they're 18, they leave their parents, they don't see their parents often. When the, when the child ever says, Papa, Mama, I want you, I want you now old, oh, I don't want that anymore. So it's the reason I will teach my students 
try to spend time with the parents, try to, you know, sometimes if you want to make your skill good, best way is make, make your skill good is to teach someone. The first person you teach is your family because they have no one laughing at you. Yeah, you, no one judge you, you can teach them. You teach them, make you better, because you can't make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you will pass the mistake to them, so you will more focus your techniques. So do you got the motivation now? <laughs> Joking. Backward. Same, yeah, look. You backwards, yeah, see? You, the same thing, you backwards, same. You backwards, you opposite. Before you do redirection, now you do out direction. So uh, hold your leg, uh, move your leg out, uh, stop your hand, punch me, uh, kick your leg. Yeah? So you grab, and hold, and squat. Go. The forms is good, it's great. You can teach the young kids forms because they're quite interesting, because different movement, yeah? And also forms are good for old people because they don't use their brain anymore when they're old. You teach them some simple movements, they try to have to remember this. It's good. For young, kid, for young people, for adults, yeah, we have to, you have to, when you practice films, you have to tell yourself, I want to make these films useful, not beautiful. Martial arts is not beautiful, martial arts is useful, because they're useful, this reason they're beautiful. It's not that beautiful, they're good, because they're useful, they're good. You have to find another way to think it. So, for example, I practice traditional martial arts, I need to make my stance very, very solid, stable. Even I don't know how to fight, but I need to make my stance really, really powerful. And every time when I push my palm or punch my fist, I need to feel I really can push hard. I really can use my whole body to do this push. You just need to focus this way, you will make your skill different. Yeah. After we learn the fighting, it's easy for you because you got strong conditioning. Yeah, you got strong body. Yeah. Tolu is good. Depends how do you practice. <laughs> yeah, of course. Good teacher is good. Good. They, they open the good door for you. Bad teacher open the bad door for you. But I think you are good teacher. <laughs> Because you're waiting in the park, no one can find you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> yeah, the slowly will be blocked and push. But we do the same time. Bam! Where do I go? Uh, I block, I punch here. Yeah? I use this type of technique, you know, like this. Yeah? And... I want to say important things is you need to think you're training for yourself and uh, keep yourself healthy is good for the world. It's important. We don't need doctor anymore. This is good. Yeah? I... For me, I'm crazy. I, know, I hardly see doctor. I don't want to see them because at the moment, doctor gave you medicine. Okay, this is drugs. Take it. These drugs kill everything. They kill good, bad. They kill one same, one, one... They no. not... That <laughs> you know, you take the medicine, they don't just they kill the disease. They also kill good disease, bad disease. They kill together. They make you really tired. When you eat medicine, you say, "Okay, I'm tired." Special. So why we don't training hard to make our, our body to make our own medicine to fight with disease? Yeah. And the Shaolin martial arts have this kind of sense. You can use training to make your body have your own weapon to kill that disease. Yeah. Don't think you're training for someone else. You're training for yourself or for your family because you're healthy, you're strong is number one. Yeah. People people always say health is number one. Yeah. But we don't put health in the number one. We don't look after ourselves very well. Sometimes we're cheating ourselves like rubbish. Because you put rubbish in your body. You can't say no truth to yourself, look like a person. We eat some rubbish food. And we want to do good things. How? You want training hard? Eat well. Look after yourself well. You need to love yourself. You can love someone else. If you don't love yourself, you can't. 
If you don't look after yourself, you cannot look after someone else. This is my important message. Love yourself. <laughs> okay.